<laughs> Thank you. Your crew, the, the magic. No. Go on then. Ready? Yeah. Can we open the blinds? Yes, you can show them the magic, the new magic gadget. Look at that. Oh. Toby has a new magic gadget. Let's see the clicker. Well, you don't need the clicker because we can we program them. Magic. Another thing to go wrong. <laughs> His face. <laughs> It's true though. You know what I'm like with my technical deficit. Listen to that child down there. He's so loud. I don't think I was recording it. <laughs> I don't think I got that. Look, 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 look. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing now? <laughs> Good training. Okay, everybody, look at the camera and say hello. 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 Can't see you, Bill. I just don't want like to as well. Okay. We are on our way to Flock, which is a Southwest um, Knitters Meetup. Um, everyone's yeah. welcome. You don't have to live in the Southwest. It's just that um, there's not much that happens down here. So, um, Mr. B from Mr. B's Yarn, Claire, Bird Street UK, Bex from Bexy Norms, that's all their Instagram tags. They've got a uh, podcast called Bird Street. No, they haven't, called The Bird Box. It's epic, but they've not filmed for ages. Come on, ladies. Um, they organise it. And um, she said, come on, ladies. Mr. B is a boy. Um, <laughs> So they they organise it and um, and we're going. Um, I've got the rabble with me because they didn't want to. Weirdly, they didn't want to go out and meet Toby and his friend. His friend's picking up a bit of a snazzy car. I don't know why Toby has to go as well. Uh, Probably because. And then they're going to a cafe and doing a bunch of business. Oh oh okay. So they're doing a bit of work as well. So that's why. I don't know. No, but they're, they're going to be up near that. Yeah, they're going to go to the cafe and they're going to yeah. talk business now. The boys had the option to come with me or to go with Toby and look at cars in the garage. And do you know what they chose? They obviously chose to come with me um, because there's going to be cake. And Bill said he wants to learn to knit. So I'm hoping there's going to be somebody there with the patience of a saint <laughs> to show how to knit. I've got yarn and I've got needles. <laughs> but um, I've tried to teach my children to knit before and- I kind of succeeded and then forgot. Well, yeah, you did. And I could knit with my fingers. You did, you did really well actually, Ted. Do you remember you actually did it continental style, which is kind of groovy. Well, you had the yarn in this hand and you hooked it through with your needle rather I than... I couldn't do it the other way around. No. So that's what we're doing today. Ted, get home. It's raining. It fancy stuff then. We've had two weeks of poor weather. And like two, three days of good. It's just been so wind. It's the wind that I find difficult. It's oppressive. It really hurts my ears. And whenever it's sunny and it's windy, it's just yeah. the sun gets you 
warm, but then the wind makes it cold. cold. Yeah. I'm wearing my Whitmore sweater. I've doctored it, all the little bits that weren't quite right, I've fixed those. But I couldn't fix, there's two bits on the back that are glaring mistakes. And there's no way of fixing those without ripping it right, right the way back. I wasn't gonna do that. So they're just there on the back. And I doubt anyone will notice unless they're inspecting it. And uh, if they're knitters and they're inspecting my knitting, then I don't mind if they notice the mistake because they know what it's like. You make mistakes. And I'm wearing my new dress that arrived in the post last week. I've hemmed it, I took it up, but I don't think I've taken it up by quite enough. Are you vlogging? Put your vlog face on then. You know, like. <laughs> okay, here we are. It's me, Nina, Erin Lee. All right, my lovers. All right, move that there. I don't know what to say now, do you? No, not really. <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. I won't film in then. What would you like to say to your public? My public? Yeah. It's really good to meet Gail in real life. She's just the same. Wonderful. I paid you to say that. No. <laughs> I paid you in Sherry Iris Yarn. This is the lady who gave me all those amazing balls. <laughs> so I'll put a video, I'll put a photograph in here so you can see the balls. <laughs> And here are the balls. Oh, they're so gorgeous. Just look at them. I've had a pretty perfect day today. And I know that Thursday, one moment please, noisy children. Be quiet, can you shut the door on them? That is loud. Oh, they're lovely. So he's got new shoes. Let's have a look, let's have a look. I'm gonna throw my other work shoes away because they were like, are they ruined? If not, no. we'll donate them. Who's Nothing making happened. that noise? Isn't that Wilfred? Go and debark hey. the child. Who's making that noise? Hey. It was dead. What have you got on your head? What is that? What's that? What are you wearing a burger on your head? Toby, you're even louder than the children now. Will, Will, shut it. Mum's trying to vlog. Alright, I told him to shut it, Dana. Did you tell them you're going to kick their heads in? I'm going to smash your face in. I'm going to chop you in the windpipe. I'm going to smash you in the face, Will. Kick, kick you in the shins. <laughs> oh, he's just kicked you in the shins. <laughs> and then everyone be quiet. I'm trying to vlog here. Will, come and have a word to the chicken goujons. Would you please be quiet? Oh, that's been going.
Oh, Toby, Toby's got too many, too many too much stuff irons going. in the fire. Too much going on, Gaynor. He's got too much going on. I've been on. slaving all afternoon. Have you? Haven't stopped. Mm. In fact, I was asleep for most of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've woken up a bit confused. <laughs> I don't like it when I wake up confused after no, a nap. No, it's hard, isn't it? I, feel I don't so... know why I put that timer on. I don't even know what that time is for. Would now. you stop talking? I want to vlog. <laughs> Just call me Bill. I've got to turn that on. Bill minute. was on fire I've got today. To turn that on. Well, shush, let me do this then. Happen. Bill was brilliant today. Brilliant. Right. Brilliant. Um, yeah, perfect day today. Unlike Thursday, which was also a perfect day, I was in a bit of, I didn't mention it on here, but I was in a bit of a funny mood all day. Sort of a bit of a... Ugh, can't even describe it, but... Well, because you hadn't had any wine. Today. <laughs> You've been saying that all week. I know, I don't drink in the week now. What? What? What did you just mumble? You did, yes, you did drink during the week, like... I did drink her in the week. You did drink during the week. <laughs> on Thursday? Because yeah. I didn't drink on Friday. Oh, is that what? Yes. <sighs> right, don't interrupt me <laughs> this time. S and you've left that door wide open. No, Wilfred came out and opened it. He had one job. Today, I was not in a funk. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, I didn't even get stressed on the way there when there was an accident and we were really super late and I'd wanted to arrive in time to help set up. But I arrived so late, ended up... Un you lot! For goodness sake! Jesus Christ, Gaynor. I'm going to do what Wilfred was doing in the garden this morning. <laughs> Do that again. I'm not doing that again. Do that again. No. Do that at your I don't shoulder. Know what he was doing, he was sort of going across the window, going like this. <laughs> I mean, if, that, if that's what they teach him to do in school sports. I don't know. Oh, you oh, missed this kitchen. It's such a tip. I need to sort it out. I stood up and done it. Where did I put that timer on? I don't know. Shush. <laughs> I wanted to get there early so I could help set up. Um, but as it was, we arrived just as Claire was doing the whole chat about who was vending there and um, some games they were going to play, which were a right giggle, and um, and that any leftover money from the subs was after they'd paid for the hall was going to go was going to be donated to Bill's school. And as she was doing that, we walked in. It was it was it was funny, but also I can imagine it could have been seen as a bit like. Who do they think they are? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? You, I cannot vlog in these conditions. <laughs> I'm struggling to cook. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna... It's all pre-made as well, love. You're, oh, piss off. You're, nice. you're not actually cooking, you're reheating. Yes, I know. Daddy chips. Do you need to swear quite so much? Margot, you've just been out. They want to go out again? Because I've, I've been really strange today. I just want to be outside all the time. I'm not even trying to go to the toilet. Oh, my shoe doesn't fit. Could you give me a new shoe? And, and I need three more. There's only one here, and I, and I need three more. I've got many legs. I don't know what's the matter with her. She's just a weirdo today. But anyway, I'm going to run out there and make sure everything... Is safe for her. Right. Peace and quiet. Sorry about the noise in the background. That's our Acti Fryer, which I got for free on my Tesco's club card vouchers when I used to shop online and have it delivered. But now I shop zero waste. <laughs> I wore my Whitmore sweater with the adapted sleeves and... Uh, I've sorted out the situation. Oh, that one's still a bit big, but um, I've sorted it out my little eyelet things going on. And oh, I was cozy and warm all day. Uh, too warm, I had to take it off after a while. I absolutely love it. And um, 
I like to think I had lots of admiring glances and there was one really gorgeous looking lady came over and said, what was that sweater you were wearing when you came in? And I, I was just going off with um, Maggie to have her blanket, amazing blanket, um, photographed. And I said, oh, it's on my chair over there. Just go and put it on, try, try it on. It's a Whitmore sweater. And um, she, I, didn't. she didn't nick it because I'm wearing it now. <laughs> I didn't see her again after that to find out whether she tried it on and if, if it fitted and all of that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, I don't know why I was telling you that, I just was, but I really enjoyed wearing this. Oh, really like it. Normally I knit things and then I'm sort of a bit like, mm. there's only a few things that I've got that I still really love that I've knitted. One of them is my... Church Mouse Modern Wrapper Fine cardigan, which I copied um, a lush lady who I've not seen in so long. I'd love, love to see her. Called Carolyn. And I saw some... <laughs> you wrap that. And I saw some other yeah. lucky people, people today. Yeah, she's not asking, she's still sniffing about. I saw some other lovely people today. I saw Jo, Pickle Lily. She's the, just the... If ever you could find a human being who was a hot water bottle, it's her. She's delicious, could eat her. Um, I'm going to forget who I saw today now just saw loads of people what was absolutely brilliant was after we arrived and the boys and I because the boys came with me for a bit Toby picked up Ted and Wilf halfway through but Bill stayed for the duration and he was brilliant he was really on form today I walked in and we settled ourselves down at a table and then oh, I've got a friend called Annabelle and I've always referred to her as a bit of an angel she's just got that aura about her and she was there and I wasn't expecting to see her and I was so glad to see her it was really really lush last time I was supposed to see her was back in November the last week of November we were going to go on a dog walk but I had a bug and a virus it was really poorly and I couldn't go and we've just not managed to get our act together since to get together but um we were together today so that was lovely She's so lush. Um, and I saw some friends from the, the Woolle retreat. That was great. And loads of other familiar faces. And obviously Bex and Claire and uh, Mr. B. I just have to call him Mr. B. John is his real name, but I can't recall that easily. Um, just, yeah, loads of love, lovely, lovely people. Marcella was there. Always a pleasure to run into Marcella. And Nikki. Oh, I'm doing a roll call now. It's like an Oscars thank you speech, isn't it? Um, Licky, Licky, <laughs> Nikki. I think she's Looping Lane Handmaid. I might have got that wrong. And, oh, Foxy Yarn. Lou has given me beautiful skein of yarn and a project bag to raffle off um so i'm gonna probably raffle that off and whoever wins it i'll buy them a pattern from ravelry and um i'll come back when i think of more things to say but i'm sure you're pretty fed up with my face so right now i'm going to show you my yarn i bought i was so restrained at unravel and then i get to in flock and can't help myself nearly wet myself seeing this lot this is um called midnight fox it's a hiddleston four ply i said i wasn't going to buy anything with nylon in anymore and i did didn't i but look at it it's so beautiful and Mr. B was wearing the outfit that I imagine I will wear. <laughs> Not that he was wearing girls' clothes. Um, would you mind letting the dog in? Oh. Darling, let the corgis in. 
Um, I want to wear cool socks knitted out of cool yarn like this with a pair of Chelsea boots and some baggy jeans with some turn-ups and then a really great hand-knit sweater with a collared blouse underneath. I've got this. I don't think Mr B was wearing a collared blouse. He was wearing all the other things. Claire had knitted him this marvellous sweater. Blooming gorgeous it was. Very toothy. So I had to give him a um, kind of a, um, it was an embrace, a fact-finding embrace, you know? Look at that. What's this called? Pebbles on a beach. I might knit Toby some socks with that. Then, a much, much, muchness of excitementage here. Skein heroin. This is British wool, blue face Leicester. It's dyed with logwood, and the mordant was alum. Look at the twist on that. So, Alison, skein heroin. Oh, I hope I remembered her name right. Beautiful eyes, really beautiful eyes. She, um, did I just spit on my, I think I just spat on my wool. <laughs> Um, she said that if you've got quite a strong hard wearing wool like blue face, face Lester it's, it's kind of the softness almost as soft as merino but it's much stronger more hard wearing yarn and then you have it in a really high twist don't really know why I'm trying to get it to focus because I'm having problems with iMovie and I have to I'm having to upload things on a lower resolution because my phone is saying I've not got enough um, memory when I've not even used half of the memory available so who knows what's going on there if you know let me know because it's doing my head in um, she said if it's got a high twist and it's blue face Lester then it will be probably more hard wearing than sock yarn with nylon so I'm chuffed with that and I could not resist these even though they've got nylon in them because <sighs> you know I do my best elsewhere I do pretty well and now and again I just have to fail everyone needs a bit of failure in their lives and, mm -hmm. No sense at all over and out. Bye bye.